Hi, everyone, and welcome to this session of the Edward Jones Chatting Cage. I am JB at the desk, and Aaron Nola joins us from the field to take your questions and field things as pitchers can do. Hey, Aaron, how you doing, bud? I'm doing great, guys. How y'all doing? Uh, we are stoked to have you with us. Fans, let me get to it real quick because we've got about 10 minutes here with Aaron. Get your device fired up. Talk to him directly. Get me out of the show. Get me out of the mix. It's best for everybody. In the meantime, you can hashtag Chatting Cage on Twitter, and I will find that and read it. I'll do my best impersonation of you. And also, you can use the MLB Fans app to fire up the device or leave a comment and question, and I'll read that question, and that's where I'll start. Ace Rafferty wants to know, Aaron, what's your favorite park to pitch in? Park to pitch in? Um, I think St. Louis. St. Louis is on my top favorite parks. Oh, yeah? It's uh, out there in uh, the Midwest. Huh? You enjoy that one? Is it the feel, the stadium itself, or what do you like about it? Uh, the stadium itself, the uh, atmosphere is really good. They have pretty good fans over there. Uh, it's always a pretty packed house, and uh, I like the Midwest a lot. All right. There you have it, folks. Just like that, get your comment and question in here. I'll read it, or even better yet, fire up your device like this, fan, and join us. What's your name? What's your question for Aaron? Hi, Aaron. My name is Nick from New York, and my question for you is, what is your favorite part about Philadelphia? <laughs> favorite part about Philadelphia? Oh, man, there's a lot. Uh, it's a lot different from where I come from, but uh, I like the food over there. There's a lot of great food over there, uh, a lot of places to pick from. Uh, my favorite is probably breakfast stuff. Uh, we don't really have that back in Louisiana, uh, too, much, too many breakfast places. But, uh, you know, Phil is a unique place, um, a lot of history, so I really like the history of it. All right, there you have it, folks. Just like Nick, be a part of the show. Join us here in the Edward Jones Chatting Cage and uh, get FaceTime with your favorite players like Aaron. I'm going to go to Twitter now. The hashtag, again, is Chatting Cage. Uh, during the offseason, Aaron, how do you strengthen your arm? That one's from Jared. Jared, how do I strengthen my arm? Uh, I actually take a couple months off of throwing after the season ends just to kind of repair it, you know, just to let it recover a lot. You know, we've been throwing all year for – 10 months or so um, and then you know get back to throwing and just working out and uh, doing a lot of arm care uh, arm care with weights all right there you have it jared that's the answer a couple months off if you throw for a full long season like that you know there's some fatigue involved staying strong in the off season this is the edward jones chatting cage that fills off philly aaron nola and another fan joins us what is your name what is your question hey, aaron. hey my name is bruno how you doing bruno how you doing i'm doing good Good. Hey, man, uh, I had a quick question. I was wondering who was the toughest batter that you have faced in your career? Toughest guy? Probably Freddie Freeman. He's probably one of my toughest. What was it about Freeman's the, uh, approach that gave you uh, trouble? I mean, he's, he's a big guy. He's got a quick bat. Uh, he's got that kind of down swing. His, um, the pitchers try to, try to live down in the zone and uh, everything seems to uh, play into his bat path. So he's, he's a pretty tough out. All right, there you have it. I don't think you're the only one that's going to talk about Freddie and that uh, <laughs> bat path for a while. He can swing with the best of them. It's interesting to talk about that downswing where his path is, causing trouble for pitchers. Another fan joins us. What's your name? What's your question for Aaron? Hey, Aaron. My name's Tim. Uh, what's been like watching Reese Hoskins and his, uh, kind of his record-setting start to his career with the team? Uh, it's something special, man. Uh I mean, the only time I really played with Reese was in spring training a little bit, and um, I mean, we knew what he could do. You know, he's, uh, he had all those home runs in the minor leagues, and then he came up here, kind of started off a little slow, and uh, once he got that first hit, it, the rest was history. Um, he's got a great approach at the plate. Uh, he is to all parts of the field, which is pretty special, and uh, he's a really humble guy. He knows how to handle himself and uh, handle the game really well. Uh, there's no doubt uh, it's been electric to watch him on that record-setting opening to a career, and I'm sure you feel good as a pitcher to be in the dugout watching him on your team. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> this is the Edward Jones Chatting Cage. It's now time for the EDJ question of the day for Aaron Nola. Aaron, what's the biggest adjustment you've had to make since getting to the bigs? Biggest adjustment? I'm mean, trying to be as consistent as I can. Uh, Making adjustments to the hitters, to the teams. I mean, they got a lot of, a lot of stats on you, um, and vice versa. So I think making adjustments every time you face a team, because you're going to face them a lot, especially guys in your division. Um, I think that's the biggest adjustment. 
All right, there you have it, folks. Just like that, questions for Aaron Nola answered here in the cage. We've got a few more minutes with him. Before we say goodbye, fire up your device or get the hashtag chatting cage in and, or join us like this, man. What's your name? What's your question for Aaron? Hi, uh, Aaron. I'm Daniel from South Jersey, a huge Phillies fan. And I just wanted to know, what was your favorite part about going through the minor leagues and being prepared to go to the big leagues? I mean, it's definitely a big change, but I think – I'm glad I went to AAA first. I think AAA is a, um, a little closer to the big leagues, as in um, approaches, uh, rather than going from AA to the major leagues. Mm -hmm. So I think the AAA prepared me a little bit. And uh, I think just the more experience I got in the big leagues, uh, the better I felt about it. But it's all about trying to be consistent and uh, knowing your body. And over the past couple of years, I feel like I've, I uh, really found out a lot about what I can do and what I can't do. Uh, excellent insight there. Thanks for sharing that, Aaron. And Daniel from South Jersey, I know you were outside having some fun down there, so I want to thank you uh, as uh, school gets back underway here in South Jersey. Good question there, and obviously a big Phillies fan. So we continue our chatting cage here with Aaron Nola for a few more minutes. Folks, get your device fired up. Be like Daniel. Even if you're outside, get a question. And meanwhile, I'll go back to the MLB Fans app. Sport Junkie New York City wants to know, Aaron, what motivates you now that the Philly season is starting to wrap up? Uh, we just want to finish strong. We want to finish the September strong. And uh, we got some guys getting called up from AAA. And uh, it's going to be pretty cool to watch them, um, you know, start up here, uh, make their, 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 excuse me, their debut. Uh, you know, I was in their shoes at one point. Um, a lot of guys were obviously in their shoes. So it's just a special time for them and their families. All right, yeah, September can be special times as we can see young players showing up, helping the rosters out and getting their first licks in the bigs. Before we wrap things up, I'll stay with social media. This is from at West Philly Born. Uh, pretty universal question here. Aaron, who was your favorite baseball player growing up? Ken Griffey Jr. was my favorite. <laughs> I collected a lot of his cards. Uh, had that video game that he had out <laughs> at one time. Uh, I mean, that was... He was, a, he was a favorite back in Louisiana for a lot of people. Oh, uh, that's great. And, uh, yeah, for Louisiana, actually, I'll touch on the follow-up on that. Uh, other than Junior as a, as a person, who were you watching then there as Louisiana? Um, I like to watch Houston. I yep. mean, that's probably, probably our closest. Houston and Atlanta was our uh, the closest, you know, major league teams um, to me from Louisiana. Uh, we don't have any uh, major league teams around that area, so uh, I like to watch those teams. Outstanding. Another fan joins us. What's your name? What's your question for Aaron? How you doing, Aaron? I'm Jake. Uh, my question is, how does it feel to be the ace of a pitching staff at such a young age of 24? Uh, I mean, I, I try not to think think about that. I just try to go out, go out and do my job um, every five games. I uh, try to give a team a chance to win. I mean, we got a lot of, um, a lot of strong, strong starters. Uh, I know we've kind of Bounce around starters this year. Uh, a couple guys are on the disabled list, but uh, you now I like our, our chances going forward uh, for next year and uh, going to spring training. We have a lot of competition. All right, thank you uh, for that question, Jake. Uh, glad to hear that from Aaron. Before we say goodbye, to you, another question off social media from the MLB Fans app. Uh, Hunter D22 wants to know who's that funniest guy in the clubhouse for you, Aaron? Oh man, uh, you know. Hun Su Kim's kind of sneaky funny. Uh, <laughs> since he came, since he came over from the Orioles in Korea, uh, we would have never thought. But Franco, man, Franco's on the top too, right there. <laughs> that sounds like quite the tandem. I like the sneaky funny guys too. The guys <laughs> don't predict; they can get. Yeah, you. Oh yeah, that's a good time. All right, Aaron, uh, I know you got a lot to do. Uh, big day of work out there at the ballpark. I want to thank you for being us with the fans. You have a good time. Yeah, I had a great time. Thanks for having me, guys. All right, that's Aaron Nola, everybody. And as always, fans, I want to thank you for being part of the Edward Jones Chatting Cage, getting FaceTime with your favorite players. You make this show the special thing that it is. We'll see you on the next round.